My name's Sarah Neal and I'm lecturer and tutor in the animal courses at Kendall College. Hi, I'm uh, Mike, uh, the cafe chef at Kendall College. Hi, I'm Lewis. This is Sadie and Rhiannon and we're on level three animal management course. We have an on-site animal rescue centre that is a genuine wildlife rehabilitation centre. We take in wildlife cases from all across the northwest. Some of the cases that we've had involve in pollution, it's highly likely they've ingested plastics. Quite a few of our wildlife cases probably have. As plastic breaks down in the ecosystem and in the ocean, these microplastics have a great surface area for attracting these toxins. They're eaten by um, filter feeders, like the small animals in the food chain, but obviously bioaccumulate up the food chain. At the top of the food chain, you've got us, humans that are then consuming um, seafood where the accumulation of these microplastics in these animals is at very, very high, high levels, the highest level in the food chain. As individuals, we can always try and not use single-use plastics and just trying to use more renewable sources and make sure everything goes and not is just thrown in the bins and just recycle more. It's our fault that there's plastic, that like we could do stuff to help it. I signed up to become a community leader um, for Surfers Against Sewage and did a campaign with my students to try and get Kendall to go plastic free. We approached lots of businesses to try and get them to swap out at least three of their single um, use plastics for biodegradable alternatives or more environmentally friendly alternatives. We wrote to local MPs about the um, consumerism and we also got our um, Kendall College Cafe to go plastic free completely so they got rid of all of their single use plastics in the cafe and everything is biodegradable material now. At Kendall College we are proud to support Surfers Against Sewage in their plastic free campaign. Uh, the idea behind this campaign is that we eliminate the single use plastic. Uh, so in order for us to do this we provide all sorts of disposable items which are 100% plant based. Um, as far down as to the plastic lids is 100% biodegradable, uh, even to the film on the sandwich boxes. Um, we recycle this in the food waste and then there is no landfill and it all goes back into compost, back into the environment. As individuals um, we can all take steps to support our local wildlife, particularly when it comes to pollution and plastic pollution just by trying to re reduce the amount of single plastics that we um, use, recycle plastics wherever possible and other items that are recyclable and replace as well our single use plastic uh, items with environmentally friendly alternatives wherever possible. Because you may think it's fine to like drop your litter but in the long term it has big impacts on wildlife. Just to take more care with what you're using and just remember that maybe things have more of an impact than just beyond your home. At Kendall College we not only look after our students' education but we also want to look after their future environment.